What's going on guys? So new video I'm working on today. I'm gonna try and put in this inner rocker and the uh, brace on the other side. So I don't know what I'm gonna end up filming here. It's probably gonna be a pretty crappy video just because I'm gonna be lying on my back uh, cutting grinding and all that sort of stuff. So I'll probably just kind of you know go in and out showing you how it's turning out. And I don't know, it might just be a few minutes, even though it's gonna be a lot of work, and then maybe we'll get onto the interior or something like that. So uh Stay tuned to watch me struggle. So here's the panel. I ended up uh, cutting it down, so it's just going to be on the side of this uh, body mount. So it seemed like it uh, worked okay. I drilled some holes top and bottom, so I can just kind of plug weld it or whatever it is to the uh, the good metal. So the the bottom will be like the sill I made, and then up top will be the actual body of the car. Around back, it's got a little kind of edge, so it works out pretty good. And you can kind of see it's the factory panel, so all the a little you know cuts and grooves are all really right should be so it's actually a pretty professional repair in my mind so i just got it all clamped i'll kind of plug weld it work my way around and uh, you know hold it up tight with a hammer handle and it should be good enough i'm just gonna put a few welds in it and i'll just seam seal it in and undercoat it because that's all the factory did all right guys i'm not gonna lie it's the next day uh last night was a gong show i didn't do a whole lot of filming i got frustrated welding on my back sucks but uh, I actually did make a fair bit of progress. I'll crawl under here and show you. So I got the front brace in, that was all good. Uh, the rocker, inner rocker's all in. I ended up making this back brace here, just with some sheet metal and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so it's all together, gave it a quick coat of undercoating. It looks good enough. No holes in it. It's all uh, solid, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of finish ending the bottom of the rocker here. And I'm going to try some of that uh, spray bomb that I had mixed up and see how well it'll blend. If not, I'm just going to do the whole rocker. So there we go. I gave it a quick coat of paint, and I gave it a coat of uh, satin clear just to kind of bring down the shine a little. So I didn't do the center, I'm fighting that out a little bit, but I think it looks alright. I mean, it's definitely a, a little bit darker and uh, and stuff, but probably because there's not as many chips and stuff in it. Otherwise, I pulled the wheels off, and I was just kind of undercoating and painting everything black and stuff like that in the uh, underside there. So I'm going to let that kind of set up for a couple hours, I'm going to have some supper. And I'll come back out uh, once the paint smell has subsided, and uh, clean up the garage, because... Like usual, I've worked myself into a mess. So I'll do much cleaning up, fill the toolbox up with all the tools that are on the ground. Yeah, I don't know what I'll do next. I mean, the brakes are basically done, so I wanna yeah, maybe put the pedal and all that together. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, once it's cleaned up, I'm sure I'll have a plan. All right, clean up the garage a little bit, and then I've been lying on my back. Undercoating, which is a terrible jog. One thing I forgot about is I gotta do this, this door. This little dog leg here is all screwed up, so. Maybe tomorrow, I was at, like I was undercoating the uh, wheel well and I noticed, oh uh, yeah, it's for rusty. So I'll have to make a little piece in there, weld it in, body filler it up, and then I'll paint that blue. Because the paint looked pretty decent. Uh, where else am I at there? Yeah, certainly it's cleaned up good enough anyways. I managed to slide under there. So, you know, it's all dried up. The match looks good. I'm happy with it. And while I was underneath here, so... I've basically done, undercoated the whole car. So I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's got old undercoating on it and stuff, but the new stuff all looks nice. This is all the stuff I did. And then I went just past the rear end. Uh, I painted the rear end and all the suspension just black. And I only went kind of halfway, well, they'll show up to the trunk floor because uh, I got to cut out that back for some rust. So that's it for now, under here anyways, like I said, until I get that back pan, there's not much else I'm going to do. So I'll probably uh, work on this uh, dog leg here. The rocker's a little soft too, so we'll see what I get. But that's it for now, I'll be back at tomorrow and we'll uh, start grinding. What's going on guys? So next day, I'm working around the garage a little bit there. I uh, want something easy to do. I actually was in the basement and I found the old hubs off the 55. And it actually has roller bearings. So that's nice. So I'm going to swap the hubs out. This one still has the ball bearing one and the drum is pressed on the hub. 
so this way I can get it all apart, put on a different set of front drums because these ones have had it, and then put that all together properly, and then I'm going to start working on the back brakes, finish that all up. So I got these new hubs on, so now the, the drums can come off. These other ones, they're all pressed together. So obviously they're original, so I got that done. Both sides, I had to rub some dust caps off another set of disc brakes I had. And then out back, I had to trim down the line I got. But, you can see, that's doing so I'll kind of bed it down into place a little bit, but uh, that's that. Next I want to do, I got a set of those Krager wheels, I want to put them on the front, see what they look like. Because uh, I got another set of Kragers, but they're 15, so they're bigger, I want to see if I want to put those on there. Or if I want to just get some black steel wheels. So put it on, see how it looks. All right, guys. So I ended up uh, putting on the front Kragers and just a set of uh, steel black wheels in the back. So I don't know. I'm going to clean up the garage a little bit. I don't know if we'll do it tonight or not, but I'll drop it down, kind of take a look at it, get a stand back and see what it kind of looks like. Because, like I said, I think the Kragers might be the way to go. But. Uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, it's going to sit high in the front. There's no motor in it yet. Hopefully, we'll get that in the next few days. And, I mean, like, I also, like, I have these, whatever, they're Pro Star wheels. And I also have a set of steel wheels with Baby Moons on my 47 Chev. So, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet. The Kragers are kind of cool. They're kind of beat up. Kind of suit the, you know, like a 70s vibe or whatever. Which uh, is kind of my style. So, we'll see. But, uh, I got to be able to clean it up, put the shocks on. So underneath, it's pretty much ready to go. I didn't put the rear drums on because they're pretty wore out. So I'm going to go and measure them and see if they're still in spec or not. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go and try and find a set. Hopefully, I'm find some used good ones or something like that if these are junk. But yeah, I think that's it for tonight. Have a little bit of supper and uh, be back at it tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, I was just out in the garage and I was planning to start working on the dog leg there all rotted out i was just kind of messing around taking a break from that so i ended up i had this old set of kragers so i painted them up they were uh they were really really ratty like all the chrome was you know peeling off them so i just kind of cleaned them up a little bit put on some of that hammer tone paint just in the center cleaned up the ridge ah i don't know if it'll look good or not i had these tires they're a little big hopefully they'll squeeze in so steely so i was going to work on that and then i actually got a phone call the guy I bought the car from, because the car came with a motor, but it didn't, I didn't get it the same day. But, uh, anyways, he's available now, because it's at a buddy's house, and you, you know how the story goes. So anyways, I'm going to head out, and it's out of town to get that motor, and it's just starting to get crappy and uh, rainy. Story of my life, right? So that's what I'm doing now. Me and my old man are going to head out there, pick this motor up. Hopefully the guy will just load it in with his backhoe. And then I'll, uh, I don't know, pressure wash it in the driveway. Well, I better put the windows up in the car. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, hard left, but uh, we'll get through the day. All right, just made it to the service station. The guy's actually got a little uh, bobcat type thing with some forks on it. So we're going to lift it up and uh, put it in the truck. Alright guys, so I'm back home. Uh, didn't quite beat the rain, unfortunately. So I'm going to try and clean up in here a little bit, uh, get this thing down on the ground, and maybe slide it over so I can uh, get the motor in on that side. So good and bad news, I mean the motor is what it is. <clears throat> it actually, uh, it rained on too bad. It's actually a Turbo 400. Not a Turbo 350 like I was originally told. I didn't even look at this thing when I bought the car. It just kind of came with a motor and I took the guy at his word. No exhaust manifolds, bit of a pain. Uh, I mean, apparently it's a running driving thing. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't I don't really wanna deal with the Turbo 400 slip yoke issue and it's kind of overkill for what I'm gonna do. I do have a Turbo 350 
in the garage. I don't even know what it's out of, but I know it was a good transmission. So I think I might swap those out. Uh, yeah, it's just over here. So I got that, and then it'll be easy kick down the drive shaft and yokes and all that I have will all be the right thing to use. So I think I might do that. Then I'll have a spare turbo 400. That's always, I'd rather have a spare 400 than a 350. So i got a bag over the carburetor. So I'm going to let that, uh, hopefully this rain will stop here. Get some stuff cleaned up. Drop the car down. Start getting some of this junk out of the way. Pull the motor in there. Swap the trans. And I want to put it right in. Uh, didn't come with any motor mounts. So i got to go through the stockpile, see if I have any. I think I have a new set I didn't put on something. So I can get it set in exactly where I want. Hopefully it'll fit with these cross uh, member there where the transmission was. Worst case, I'll just chop those out with a sawzall. And I can start uh, measuring up for my cross member, trans cross member. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, guys, so I'm in the middle of cleaning. It actually just stopped raining. So I'm going to uh, use this opportunity before it gets too crazy again. So I dropped the thing down on the ground. It looks pretty good. Hard to get far enough away from the garage. Craigers and all that on it. Obviously, it's nose high with no motor. So I dropped it down, slid it off to the side just a little bit. I'll clean this junk out. Put the 55 on the street. Hopefully, it's back truck up to the engine crane. It'll lift it out and uh, at least get it inside there. So well, that's what I'm going to struggle to do right now. All right, it was a bit of a job, but I got it out. So, I mean, it's pretty complete. I got a box with all the alternator brackets. I don't know if there's starter on I think I got some of that stuff. There was no exhaust manifolds. I'll probably put a set of headers on it anyways. It's got HEI, which is pretty sweet. This thing's obviously a van or something like that. I think it's got kind of some goopy uh, dipstick and stuff. But like I said, the 400, I think that's got to come off and uh, put on a, a 350 there that I have in stock so i still got to clean this pile of junk up and then i don't know how hard it's going to be i'd like to actually pull the core sport at least you know lay it down or do something see if i can get in there we'll see if i actually do that or not but i think that's where i'm going to leave this video because i did all that kind of rust repair and all that seems funny to do rust repair and then put a motor in uh but that being said i'm going to continue working so that's just where i'm going to end it today i'll keep going probably have another video just a couple days after the after this one with the motor in so stay tuned for that. Appreciate everyone watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. Comment below. All those good things. Yeah, motor will be in a couple of days.